Citizen Cemetery. We're here to see John Lafayette Bud A. Duddle. John was born on March 20, 1874 in Marion County, Missouri, which is located in the northeastern portion of Missouri. Enclosed is an aerial photo from 1869 and a map. John was the fifth of seven children. In 1880, at six years old, John's family moved to Van Zant County, Texas. In 1889, John's family moved to Scipio Tabuski County, Choctaw Nation, Indian Territory, which today, in 2022, we know as McAllister, Pittsburgh County, Oklahoma, where the family farmed together. John was 15 years of age. John met Annie A. Frazier, 1878 to 1899, and they married on April 10, 1898, under United States jurisdiction. Carl Sinclair, later known as Chief A. Duddle, was born January 18, 1899. On May 15, 1899, they married again under Choctaw law. Annie's father, Ben, was Chickasaw, and her mother, Emily, was Choctaw. John was 24 years old at the time Carl was born, and Annie was 20 years old at the time Carl was born. Annie was orphaned at a young age, according to the 1885 Choctaw census. Annie passed away in 1899, a year after Carl was born. John received land as a Choctaw intermarried white on the Dawes Roll, 1134. In the 1900s, John was widowed and a single father to Carl. He farmed with his parents near Scipio, Tabuski County, Choctaw, Choctaw Nation. On May 23, 1901, John married Josephine Josie Kahn in Scipio. After remarrying and starting another family, they continued to live with John's parents. John worked as a farmer and a Baptist minister and preacher and teacher. John was 26 years old at this time. In 1913, John, his father George, brother Zachariah, and cousin Charles were in Columbus, Tampas, Mexico for the purpose of farming. John was 38 years old at this time. In 1914, on February 21st, John was 39 years old in Clarendon, Donley, Conley, Texas where he passed away. John is located at Citizen Cemetery, placed to rest in Lot 1, Block E, Section 23. John's second wife, Josie Con Aduddle Roberts Josephine. Her headstone has pictured a pentagram symbol. A pentagram is a five-pointed star usually made with alternate points connected by a continuous line and used as a magic or occult symbol. The pentagram is a symbol of both harmony and chaos associated with the symbolism of the number five. The tops of the five-pointed star mean spirit, air, fire, water, and earth, which are commonly used in Wiccan. Wiccan is a pagan religion. Scholars of various religions or belief systems categorize pagan or Wiccan or Wicca, as both a new religious movement and as part of the occult stream of Western e Esotericism, E-S-O-T-E-R-I-C-I-S-M. Sorry, I botched that. Wicca beliefs are of divine magic in human and natural worlds. A summary from Dictionary.com states someone who is Wiccan follows a nature-oriented religion, having rituals and practices derived from pre-Christian religious beliefs. Witchcraft is typically associated with a religion and or satanic worship. A pagan is a member of a religious, spiritual, or cultural community based on the worship of nature or the earth. Wicca falls under paganism. Wicca can be traced back to 1970 to 1975 with roots in Old English meaning male sorcerer or witch. In the past, the pentagram was commonly seen as a symbol for good and for protection against evil. An upside-down pentagram, as seen on Josephine's headstone, is now considered a satanic pentagram. 
In older times, each grave told a story by the markings on it. Cemeteries are for the living to learn, mourn, and to connect us. Those who have gone before us tell a story. An upside-down star back in this time period would stood for order of the eastern star, the eastern star that led the three wise men to the manger to Jesus the Christ, the Savior in Christianity. It is recognized that pop culture and possibly Hollywood made the upside-down star an image associated with witchcraft or Satanism. So, no, Mr. A. Duddle, the Baptist preacher, didn't marry a Satanist or a witch. Not every star on the headstones represents Satanism, as some would like to show in different videos on YouTube. If you haven't seen his son's video or grandson's video, you should check those out. They're very interesting. Thank you for joining us.